Hi, I'm Steve Good. Welcome to my scroll saw workshop. I'm out of the shop tonight, and if you've been following my blog the last couple of posts, you know that I've been working with the six piece Forstner bit coin set that allows you to inlay coins into a piece of wood. Uh, the, the Forstner bits are designed to be the exact size of the coins. And uh, the last post, I made this little keychain, very simple, just from scrap wood. And uh, it's an inlaid Kentucky State Quarter uh, with the Kentucky abbreviation on the keychain. And these are a lot of fun to make. They're simple. It just takes a few minutes to put one together. But what I didn't like about it is I'm just taking coins out of circulation and putting them in here. And, you know, they're all a little tarnished. So I wanted to polish these coins up really nice to almost a mirror finish. Uh, so I went online and I researched the simplest way to do that. And I'm going to show you that technique tonight. On my workbench here in front of me is everything we're going to need to polish this coin up to a mirror-like finish. And uh, real quick, I'll just go through what I've got. At Walmart, I purchased the smallest container of Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Uh, so this, this little small container cost me like a little under $5. And I think this is going to go a long way for what little bit we're going to need. I also have... A Dremel tool and on the end of the Dremel tool I've uh, put one of the polishing uh, wheels on it just the soft you know felt or paper type polishing wheels uh, I also have in this case tonight we're going to use a, uh, a, a Liberty dollar uh, that we're going to polish up here and in a second I'll, I'll zoom in here and give you a good look at how it looks now I also have a jewelers uh, polishing cloth I've got a screwdriver that I've fastened down or sharpened down to a point. And I'm just going to use that to turn the coin when I need to, but anything that you've got handy uh, that you can turn the coin. And this is the polishing jig that I'm going to use. And it's just a piece of MDF and with a one and a half inch Forstner bit. And that doesn't come with the uh, coin set that you get, it just goes up to the half a dollar. But I have found that the Liberty Dollars are exactly one and a half inches. So if you have a, a one and a half inch Forstner bit, that's all you're going to need for this project. And what this is going to be is we're going to take this coin and place it in this hole right here that we've drilled just deep enough that the coin actually sits proud of the surface a little bit. And uh, that's what we're going to use to hold the coin while we polish it. Uh, so with that, I'm going to zoom in real close and show you the coin in its present state. Okay, here's a couple of these Liberty Dollars, and I just want to show them uh, in their current state. And you can see they're not bad looking, but uh, they definitely have a little tarnish on them. Now, in this case, they're not going to look like perfectly uncirculated coins when we get done, because they do have some wear on them. Uh, but uh, that's not a problem for the kind of uh, uh, project that we're going to make here. So this is what they look like now, and we'll use this for, for a comparison when we get done. Okay, I've got the coin in the polishing jig that we've made here, and I've got my uh, mother's mag uh, and aluminum polish here, and what we want to do is load up this polishing wheel uh, with a little bit of this polish. So you can just stick it in there, get a little bit on there. You don't need too much, because a lot of it's going to fly off here anyway in a minute. And uh, once you get it on there, really pack it in there good, because when we turn this on the first time, the excess is going to tend to want to fly away. Uh, so you want to be kind of careful the first time you turn it back on and uh, I'm going to put the lid over it here when I turn it on the first time and that'll give us the opportunity to let it fly off without making such a mess. Okay, and that should get all the residue off of it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this polishing wheel and polish up uh, this side of this uh, Liberty Dollar. And uh, I've been, I found that turning it on, uh, in this case my Dremel tool, I've got it on about a medium speed and we'll just start to polish. And you can see right away that it's already starting to turn black. Okay, I'm going to put a little more polish on.
and you can already see the shine starting to come through under the black. And it doesn't take too long. Again, this isn't something you want to do to a valuable coin. But for the kind of projects we're making, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop it, and I'm going to take uh, just a damp paper towel and uh, wipe this off and see where we're at. And I think we're doing pretty good there. Let's take it out and we'll uh, put the uh, polishing cloth to it. And the coin does get pretty hot, uh, so you want to be kind of careful when you take it out. So I'm going to take this polishing cloth and polish it up here real good. And I think you can probably already see that we've got a mirror-like polish on that, just that quick. And uh, again, I'll get the uh, coin that we didn't polish and we'll put them side by side here real close and show you. Okay, here are the two coins side by side. And I think you can see we really made a fantastic difference in making our project tonight out of the uh, coin that's been polished up is going to look a lot nicer. So that's how you take one of these coins and again you could do it to the quarters or uh, any of the coins that you want to use just when you're making your little polishing jig there. Uh, go ahead and uh, make it to the size you need to hold the coin. And uh, the jig, what the main thing it does besides holding it in place is the coin gets really hot when you're polishing in it, uh, when you're putting a polish to it. So having it in that jig keeps you from burning your fingers. So that's how to polish a coin for scroll saw jewelry or different projects. I'm Steve Good. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tonight and we'll see you next time here in the Scroll Saw Workshop.